Have you ever brushed off constant fatigue, swollen ankles, or those extra bathroom trips at night telling yourself it's just aging? What if I told you those little inconveniences could be silent alarms that your kidneys are breaking down without you knowing? This isn't a scare tactic, it's a reality. Millions of Americans face every year, and the tragedy is that most discover it only when it's too late. Kidney disease is called the silent killer for a reason. It can creep through your body for years with barely a whisper until the damage is irreversible, leading to dialysis transplants or even cutting your life short. And yet your body's not completely quiet. It gives you subtle signals, warnings that something is wrong, but too often we ignore them because they seem harmless. I'm Dr. Johnny, and in today's video, I'm going to reveal the 10 earliest warning signs of kidney damage that most people overlook. These are not abstract medical terms. You'll recognize them in your daily life. And by the end, you'll know exactly what to watch, for what to take seriously, and how to act before things spiral out of control. Because when it comes to kidney health catching, the problem early could mean the difference between a normal life and a lifetime of dialysis. So as you listen, I want you to picture your own body, your own daily routine, and ask, are you missing the clues your kidneys are desperately trying to send? If you've ever felt uneasy about your health but couldn't put your finger on why this video may be the turning point you need, because the truth is, every minute you wait, the damage could be spreading. And that's why we start right now with the very first sign you should never ignore. Imagine looking down at your shoes one morning and realizing they don't fit quite right anymore. Your socks leave deep marks around your ankles, and by evening, your feet feel heavy and bloated. Many people brush this off as just getting older, or blame it on standing too long, but swelling like this is one of the very first signs your kidneys may be failing to do their job. Here's why healthy kidneys filter out excess sodium and fluid from your bloodstream, keeping your body balanced. But when they weaken, fluid builds up in tissues, especially in your feet, ankles, and sometimes even your hands. According to the National Kidney Foundation, Nearly 70% of patients with early kidney disease reported noticeable swelling long before they were officially diagnosed. That means what you think is harmless puffiness could actually be your body waving a red flag. Take the story of Linda, a 62-year-old who thought her tight shoes were just a sign she needed new footwear. In reality, her kidneys were already losing function, and the swelling was her body's way of pleading for attention. Had she waited longer, the damage might have been irreversible. So the next time you see swelling that doesn't go away after rest, don't ignore it. It could be your first clue to silent kidney damage. But only recognizing swelling is not enough because your body may be sending even quieter hidden signals that most people miss, and one of them happens every single night. If swelling is your body's way of waving a red flag during the day, frequent bathroom trips at night are its way of screaming for help after dark. Think about it. Have you found yourself waking up two, three, even four times every night just to use the bathroom? You tell yourself it's normal with age, but it's not always that simple. When kidneys begin to lose their filtering power, they struggle to concentrate urine. Instead of holding fluid until morning, they release it in smaller, more frequent amounts. This condition is called nocturia, and it's one of the earliest and most overlooked signs of kidney trouble. In fact, research from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases shows that people with nocturia are nearly twice as likely to have underlying kidney damage compared to those who sleep through the night. Take Robert, a retired teacher at 67. He thought his restless nights were just part of aging. But after finally speaking with his doctor, he discovered that those constant trips to the bathroom weren't about age at all. They were the first clues of chronic kidney disease. Addressing it early gave him a chance to change his lifestyle before dialysis was ever on the table. So if your nights are being interrupted again and again, it's not just lost sleep, it could be your kidneys crying out for attention. But only noticing bathroom trips won't save you because the next sign hides in plain sight during the day, and it shows up in something as ordinary as the way your urine looks. And that's where things get even more alarming. Now let's talk about something most people never think twice about the way their urine looks. Imagine flushing the toilet and noticing that your urine is bubbly frothy or leaves a layer of foam that lingers instead of disappearing quickly. You might laugh it off comparing it to pouring a beer or shaking up a soda, but in reality, this could be a serious alarm from your kidneys. Here's why healthy kidneys are like precise filters, keeping valuable proteins in your bloodstream while flushing out waste. But when the filters are damaged, protein leaks into the urine and that leakage causes foam. Doctors call this protein urea, 
and it's one of the clearest early warning signs of kidney disease. Studies published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology reveal that persistent protein in urine often shows up years before kidney function drops to dangerous levels. In other words, your urine may tell the story long before blood tests do. Think of Maria, a 59-year-old grandmother who first noticed frothy urine but shrugged it off as just dehydration. By the time she went for a checkup, her kidneys had already lost nearly 30% of their function. If she had recognized the warning earlier, she could have slowed the damage with diet and medication. So if you see foam in the toilet that sticks around, don't ignore it. It could be protein, slipping away a sign your kidneys are struggling in silence. But spotting foam is just one piece of the puzzle because the next danger sign doesn't show up in the bathroom at all. It creeps into your everyday energy and leaves you wondering why you feel drained even when you've done almost nothing. You know that bone-deep exhaustion that no nap, no cup of coffee, and no weekend rest seems to fix. That overwhelming tiredness isn't just getting older or being out of shape. It could be a direct result of your kidneys struggling in silence. When kidneys are healthy, they produce a hormone called erythropoietin, or EPO. This hormone tells your body to make red blood cells, which carry oxygen to every tissue. But when kidneys weaken, they produce less EPO. The result, fewer red blood cells, less oxygen in your bloodstream, and a crushing fatigue that feels like walking through life with weights tied to your ankles. In fact, studies show that up to 70% of people with early kidney disease experience chronic tiredness long before diagnosis, often mistaking it for normal aging. Take David, a 65-year-old who used to love gardening. Over time, he found himself too tired to even water his plants. He thought he was just slowing down, but blood tests revealed anemia caused by kidney dysfunction. Once treated, his energy returned, proving that it wasn't age stealing his strength, it was his kidneys signaling distress. So if you wake up already exhausted, or you find simple daily tasks leaving you winded, don't brush it off. It may not be your age, it may be your kidneys whispering that something is wrong. But fatigue isn't the only invisible burden. Sometimes kidney disease doesn't just drain your energy, it shows up on your skin, turning your body into a canvas of irritation you can't ignore. And that's where the next danger sign reveals itself. Everyone gets itchy skin now and then, but have you ever noticed a constant itch that just won't quit, no matter how much lotion you use, no matter how many showers you take? That nagging irritation might not be about dry air or allergies at all. It could be your kidneys quietly crying for help. Here's the science. One of the kidneys' most important jobs is to filter out waste and keep the balance of minerals in your blood, especially phosphorus. When the kidneys begin to fail, phosphorus builds up in the bloodstream, irritating the skin and nerves. That buildup can trigger relentless itching, often worse at night, sometimes so severe it disturbs sleep. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, Nearly 40% of people with kidney disease report chronic itching as one of their first noticeable symptoms. Think about Clara, a 61-year-old who couldn't get through a family dinner without scratching her arms. She blamed it on dry winter skin, but when creams and remedies did nothing, her doctor ran tests and discovered early kidney damage. That itch wasn't about the weather, it was a red flag. So if your skin keeps itching without a clear reason, don't ignore it. It might be your body's way of telling you toxins are building up inside, but skin irritation isn't the only silent danger. Sometimes the warning comes in a much more alarming form, and it strikes one of the most vital systems of your body, your blood pressure. And that's where the next sign becomes impossible to overlook. You might already know high blood pressure is dangerous for the heart, but did you realize it's also one of the biggest enemies of your kidneys? Here's the frightening part. Sometimes kidney disease causes high blood pressure, and sometimes high blood pressure causes kidney disease. It's a vicious cycle that slowly destroys both systems without warning. Think about it this way. Your kidneys are full of tiny, delicate blood vessels that filter your blood every second of the day. When pressure inside those vessels rises too high, it's like blasting a garden hose at full force. Eventually, the lining weakens, scars form, and the kidneys lose their ability to filter properly. The American Heart Association reports that nearly 9 out of 10 people with chronic kidney disease also struggle with high blood pressure, often resistant to standard medication. Consider John, a 64-year-old who took his prescribed pills faithfully, yet his readings stayed high no matter what. 
His doctor later discovered that damaged kidneys were the reason his blood pressure refused to stabilize. Treating the underlying kidney problem finally brought his numbers down. So if your blood pressure is stubbornly high, even with medication and lifestyle changes, it may not be just a heart issue. It could be your kidneys crying out under the pressure. But the warning signs don't end with numbers on a cuff. Sometimes kidney disease doesn't just attack your blood vessels. It sneaks into your night, stealing the very rest your body depends on. And that's where the next danger sign shows up. It's one thing to have a busy mind at night, but it's another when you can't sleep because your own body keeps waking you up. People with kidney problems often suffer from restless nights tossing and turning or even jolting awake gasping for air. What many don't realize is that this isn't just stress or bad sleep hygiene. It can be a direct result of kidney disease. Here's why when the kidneys can't filter properly, toxins stay in your bloodstream instead of leaving through urine. Those toxins irritate the nervous system and muscles, leading to conditions like restless leg syndrome or even sleep apnea. Research from the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology shows that sleep disorders are nearly twice as common in people with kidney disease compared to healthy adults and poor sleep only accelerates kidney decline. Take Henry, a 68-year-old who thought his insomnia was just part of aging. In truth, his kidneys were no longer removing waste effectively, and that toxic buildup was disturbing his sleep cycle. Once his kidney health was addressed, his nights finally became restful again. So if you're lying awake, your legs twitch uncontrollably, or you wake up gasping, it may not just be bad sleep. It could be your kidneys crying out for attention. But the damage doesn't stop with sleepless nights. Sometimes kidney disease begins to attack the very basics of life itself, stealing away the joy of eating and turning every meal into a struggle. We all have days when food just doesn't sound appealing, but when every meal feels like a chore, or worse, when the smell of your favorite dish suddenly turns your stomach, that's more than just picky eating. Loss of appetite and nausea are among the most overlooked signs that your kidneys may be in trouble. Here's the science, healthy kidneys clear waste and toxins from your blood. But when kidney function drops, those toxins build up circulating throughout your body. That toxic overload confuses the digestive system, leading to a constant feeling of fullness, a metallic taste in the mouth or waves of nausea that seem to come out of nowhere. The National Kidney Foundation reports that over 40% of patients with chronic kidney disease experience reduced appetite or unexplained nausea in the early stages, often dismissing it as indigestion or stress. Think about Patricia, a 63-year-old, who stopped enjoying family dinners because even the smell of roasted chicken made her queasy. She thought it was her stomach acting up, but the real culprit was her kidneys slowly losing their ability to keep her blood clean. Once she sought medical help, she learned those lost cravings were actually her body's silent SOS. So if food has lost its flavor or nausea keeps creeping in without reason, don't brush it off. Your kidneys may be quietly waving the white flag. But the danger doesn't stop at your appetite. When toxins build even higher, the entire body can turn against itself, leading to sudden sickness, vomiting, and more frightening symptoms that show up when it's almost too late. A sour stomach once in a while is normal, but when nausea and vomiting become regular, it's often a sign that something deeper is wrong. For many people with kidney disease, this is where the body's quiet whispers turn into loud cries for help. Here's why when kidneys lose their filtering power, toxins and waste products like urea start to accumulate in the blood. This condition known as uremia irritates the digestive tract, sending signals of nausea, queasiness, and even frequent vomiting. According to research from the National Institutes of Health Patients with Uremia, are nearly three times more likely to experience chronic nausea and vomiting compared to those with healthy kidneys. And the longer these toxins circulate, the more the symptoms intensify. Take Samuel, a 66-year-old who kept blaming his morning sickness on bad food or stress. In truth, his kidneys were failing silently, and by the time he realized the connection, his nausea had progressed to daily vomiting. That single overlooked symptom was the turning point that pushed him toward emergency dialysis. So if nausea lingers day after day, or vomiting becomes part of your routine without a clear cause, don't dismiss it as a stomach issue. It may be your kidneys sounding a desperate alarm. But even nausea and vomiting aren't the final warnings. There's one more sign that's often the most alarming of all a symptom 
that can literally escape through your breath and reveal that your body is drowning in waste. Imagine leaning in to speak with someone and realizing your breath carries a strange chemical smell, almost like ammonia, or that every bite of food tastes metallic as if you've been chewing on coins. It's uncomfortable, embarrassing, and often dismissed as poor dental hygiene. But in reality, this is one of the most alarming signals that your kidneys are struggling. Here's the reason when your kidneys fail to filter waste effectively, toxins like urea accumulate in the bloodstream. As urea breaks down, it produces ammonia, which escapes through your breath and alters your sense of taste. Doctors call this uremic breath, and it's a classic sign of advanced kidney damage. A study in the Journal of Nephrology found that patients with chronic kidney disease were twice as likely to experience metallic taste or ammonia breath compared to healthy adults, often reporting it before they even knew their kidney function was impaired. Take Margaret, a 60-year-old who couldn't enjoy her morning coffee anymore because it tasted bitter and metallic. She also noticed her family pulling away during conversations because of her unusual breath. What seemed like minor annoyances turned out to be symptoms of kidneys losing their ability to filter waste, a discovery that changed her life forever. So if you notice a strange metallic taste or ammonia-like odor in your breath, don't ignore it. It's not just about brushing your teeth. It could be your kidneys raising the loudest alarm yet. And when the body starts speaking this clearly, it's your cue to listen, take action, and fight for your health before it's too late. If you've recognized even one of these warning signs in your own life, don't let fear hold you back. Let it motivate you to take action. Your kidneys are powerful, resilient organs, and with the right care, many people slow down or even halt the progression of kidney disease. Simple steps like staying hydrated, lowering salt, checking your blood pressure, and seeing your doctor regularly can make a life-changing difference. That's why I encourage you, don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Save this video so you can come back to it later, share it with loved ones who might need these reminders, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll receive the latest science-backed medical insights and practical tips to protect your kidneys and your overall health straight from experts who care about your journey. And remember, kidney disease is not a sentence, it's a signal. With early awareness and steady, consistent habits, you can protect your kidneys, restore energy, and keep living the life you love. There is always hope when you choose to act today.